I need to go on medication so I can slap people and blame it on side effects. Dear friends, welcome to the review of the intervalometer. It's called the Trust Digital Time Remote Controller TC80N3. It's basically identical with the Canon one. So this is a cheap version if you don't want to break the bank. This is um, a cheap version bought off eBay. Anyway, it does the same thing. So um, I am not using it that often. So for me, this one is just uh, fit for purpose. I'm going to go through the settings. I'm going to show you exactly how and why this is useful and we're going to go through through more details a little bit later so first of all what is this good for well basically this can act as a remote controller a rem remote shutter so the way it works basically we have this you have to pay attention if when you're buying to actually match your camera because this one works on my camera but it doesn't work so on others i've got my 5d mark ii here i'm just going to mount it here all right and the good news is even if this gadget is supposed to have a uh, battery just a simple uh, remote trigger does not require a battery so it's a button it's gonna work uh, exactly like the uh, shutter button so half press it will focus and full press it will trigger as simple as that now this is very useful if you want to do a uh, long exposure you don't want to touch your camera every press on the camera will actually move so if you want to avoid that this is very good a uh, very good uh, tool to use also this is very useful for bulb mode so if you want to do uh, long night shots uh, the camera has a limitation of 30 seconds long exposure but if you want to use the camera bulb setting so basically this is a manual exposure this is uh, the intervalometer is the um, accessory to have because this will control the time manually so we can actually press this one manual and keep it open right now uh, probably you've seen you've heard the sound and right now the shutter is open now it's closed if i don't want to do that and if i want to leave the camera for a few hours and uh, the camera won't do it by itself so you definitely need this if you want to expose for three hours and a half or whatever so what you can do is press this one and uh, slide the button right now camera is exposing so long exposure you slide you lock in and now exposure has finished so you can go at i don't know at night you leave it on and you come back whenever you want and there you go now let's explore the actual function of the intervalometer so the intervalometer main purpose is to trigger the camera in certain intervals this is very useful for time-lapse photography so if you want to take uh, repeated shots to a specific interval interval and also a specific exposure this is the way to go so first things first how do we mount the battery i was uh, unpleasantly surprised to to discover that this one has a mount of the battery this way and if you mount it on there's no on and off button so i left this one uh, with the battery in and actually the battery will consume itself because it does not have an on off button that's very surprising it works with batteries this size lithium cell 3v whatever you'll figure it out so the way it works i'm gonna mount the battery on and it will be straight on okay let's explore this in a little bit more detail we have got the shutter button i've already explained what it does just a simple trigger it just triggers the camera we've got the uh, button for the light so if you are in the dark this will actually help you right now even if i press it you won't see it because the light is very low We've got stop and start and we've got the mode. We can set up the mode and switch between the modes here. And also we've got a, a dial uh, wheel here, which is gonna work by pressing it in and uh, up and down. It's gonna, uh, it's gonna set up our settings. So first setting is this uh, symbol, which is the self timer. So what it does is actually delaying the shutter. So if I press this on, uh, let's say, 
no that's seconds minutes and hours i don't need the hours i'm just gonna go back and seconds let's say three seconds and set up and right now i'm gonna press start and this intervalometer is gonna count back from to zero and there you go we've got exposure i'm gonna set this back to zero so this is the timer this is useful if you wanna delay the shutter speed more than uh, uh, two or ten seconds that's a standard for every camera so every camera will give you a delay of maximum 10 seconds so if you need more if you believe that you want to arrange people in a picture you shoot from a distance you, you want to be in a picture you need 35 seconds you need a minute or two you can use this setting the next mode by pressing this button it's the intervalometer and this is uh, the best uh, feature of this uh, gadget because that's it's going to trigger at specific intervals so that means i'm going to set up let's say every three seconds i can set up minutes and hours but that's not the point you can set it up as much as you uh, as long as you want let's say three seconds and we're going to start so right now the camera is going to trigger every seconds without me touching anything anymore so i can leave and have my time-lapse photography done and I can come back in two hours and get all these shots just remember for that one you need to have enough batteries and enough power to actually get the camera to take all the shots okay I'm gonna stop here this will go as long as it uh, you have battery in uh, in your camera or you press the stop button there's another option for this one uh, and that's the last one so I'm gonna press I'm gonna go ahead a little bit now if we are looking at here the number of frames we can set up the number of frames actually uh, being uh, taken by this so we can set up to a specific and limited number of frames so let's say actually it goes up to 99 frames that's the maximum if you want more than that you just dial it to zero and let it go because it's gonna go continuously until you actually press the stop button so this will go up to 99 frames i'm gonna go back to zero now no zero anyway i'm gonna go back now going back a step the third mode this is basically a long exposure so that will work only in bulb mode and this one will uh, will give me the exposure times so if i want to set up the camera in bulb this will allow me to actually trigger let's say five minutes or five seconds or two hours and a half whatever so this will actually keep the shutter open for that specific time so this is only working in bulb mode otherwise you should leave this on zero because it's going to use whatever settings you have on the camera if you have a shutter speed 1 25th of a second that's what it's going to use if you put this something different the camera will override this so this one needs to be zero and if you want to use the camera settings or not if you want to use this one instead you have to set up the camera in the bulb mode otherwise it won't work that's basically it so just recapping we've got this uh, delay intervalometer long exposure and number of frames you can use all of these in combinations you can design your own time lapse photo shoot you can limit it to a number of shots or you can leave it until uh, you come back or for a specific time or a specific interval or until you just press the stop button i hope you enjoy it and uh, let me know if this has been helpful until i see you next time i wish you happy shooting thank you very much